Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is the first time I'm using this technology. Some of you guys know that I'm just a gym rat. Uh, I love going to the gym. I love lifting weights. I love training people. I'm not a big technology, you know, technology whiz guy, you know. That's why I have my friend and my awesome assistant, Shala, right now behind the scenes doing all this, you know, techie stuff while I can just concentrate on making good content for you guys. You know, like I said, I'm a gym rat and that's what we're always going to be. I'm not going to try to figure this stuff out. But anyway, this is our first show on Ustream and hopefully it come out well. And I want to talk to you about, about you know, a, a few strategies that you can use to lose body fat while gaining, gaining, you know, lean tissue. These are some easy strategies that you can use that can definitely help you, you know, in that. You know, what I want to do is, you know, give you some cool, easy tips. So let's, let's start with number one, okay? Number one is that you got to lift weights, okay? Why do we say that? Okay, because lifting weights is going to increase your metabolism by increasing your lean muscle tone. The more muscle tone you're going to have, the faster your metabolism is going to be. The faster your metabolism is going to be, the more your calories are going to be burning 24-7. So by gaining additional lean tissue, you will increase your metabolism. As a matter of fact, write this down. This is very important. Every, every pound of muscle tone will increase your metabolism by 50 calories per day. So imagine for a second, if you gain 10 pounds of muscle tone, uh, in a course of working out about a year or so, then you will burn an extra 500 calories per day. Now, why is that significant? Well, the reason that's significant is because 500 calories per day times seven days a week is 3,500 calories. That's one pound of body fat. Remember, 3,500 calorie deficit equals one pound of body fat loss per week. So that's what we want to try to do right now. And the cool thing about that is 3,500 calories that you're going to be burning is by just doing the same old thing that you've been doing, just sitting down, watching TV, and just doing your old normal daily daily activities, you will lose an extra body fat. And that's what we want to do. We want to turbocharge our metabolism by gaining more muscle tone. Okay? Number two, if you want to do cardio and you want to burn a little more extra body fat and you want to, um, you know, um, I don't know, increase the effectiveness of your cardio, do what I call is high intensity interval training or HIT. Okay? Now, what is high-intensity interval training? Well, what that does is basically, here's how it works. Basically, you go by a short period of very high-intensity you know, cardio by a longer period of lower-intensity cardio. Like, here's what I would do. I would do, for example, one minute of very fast-paced running with three minutes of slower-paced walking. Another one minute of fast-paced running with three minutes of low-paced walking slower pace walking. So what that does is the fast paced running will burn off the sugar and the slow paced running or, or walking will burn off the body fat. So that's called what's the uh, high intensity interval training and that in turn will definitely increase your metabolic rate, increase the fat burning process and also is, you know, gives you a little bit of variety of just not coming to treadmill and just walking, do, 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 you know, just doing the same old thing. Okay? So try HIT and let me know how that works for you. Number three, I always tell my clients, don't try to do too much in one day. Matter of fact, a lot of people come in and want to do, you know, major body parts together. Like, you know, say, for example, you want to do back and legs. Well, those are two major muscle parts, body parts. And they're, you know, they're very large muscle groups. And if you give your legs all you got in one day, there's no way that you're going to have the energy to give all you have to back. So I always tell my clients to try to do a major and a minor body part together on the same day and not try to do too major. Okay, so uh, for example, you know, my workout days consist of, you know, Mondays I do chest and biceps. You know, Tuesdays I do back and triceps. You know, Wednesday I completely give that whole day to legs. Um, Thursdays um, I do shoulders, traps, and maybe calves. You know, Fridays um, I do arms and I usually take the weekends off. Now, if I missed one day during the week for whatever reason, if my daughter kept me up all night, no, you know, I, I try to make it up on Saturday, you know. Um, so that's a good way of doing it. So try, don't try to do too much in one day. Just try to get one muscle group, one major and one minor, and hit them really hard and get out. The, the key to getting good, um, uh, good results is not how long you worked out, but how effective you worked out, okay. Just because you've been in the gym for two hours, that doesn't necessarily mean you, that was a great workout, okay. So let's go to the next one. Um, um, 
there is what we call in the in in the fitness world a 30 minute window of opportunity and that's when your body can absorb protein and carbs two and a half to three times faster than any other time that uh, any other time and that's right after your workout so my suggestion to you is that if you are doing a workout as soon as you get done working out get a meal that consists of good quality protein and a good complex starchy carbohydrates you know so for me for example as soon as I get done working out I like to have like a whey protein shake the reason I like to have a whey protein shake because whey protein is one of the fastest absorbing protein that we have it gets absorbed right away in your bloodstream and I get some good quality complex carbohydrates such as you know oatmeal or brown rice or uh, red potatoes or with that to make sure I replenish and replace my glycogen stores that I just, um, just used up for a workout so do that and that you get you know a lot better recuperation a lot better results um, number five which I think actually should be the number one that is the most important thing I can tell you right now that if you're not doing this it's almost going to be impossible for you to lose body fat almost impossible to for you to lose body fat and gain muscle tissue um, you have to have to have to eat six small meals per day at least five if not if not more six or seven every two and a half every three hours you have to, you have to eat to stabilize your blood sugar level to reduce hunger to feed your body now I'm not talking about huge meals I'm talking about small meals separate to, to uh, separate throughout the day that is the best way that you can do that okay so if you're not eating at least five six meals a day you're not you're definitely doing yourself an injustice and small start breaking it down and have those right away okay at every one of those meals okay you have to have to include a lean protein source that's the only way that your body can stay, stay in what we call a positive nitrogen balance which supports anabolic anab anabolism anabolism is to repair rebuild your muscle tissue that you just got done breaking down by working out in the gym remember you don't build muscle tone in the gym you actually break muscles down in the gym by you resting and eating the right amounts of food getting the amount of rest and getting the right amounts of protein you are going to replace uh, replace and replenish your muscles that you just broken down so always remember protein is like building blocks of your muscle think of them as Lego for kids when they play around and they build things okay um, now um, a lot of people are on very low fat diets and, and things like that and rightly so fat has nine calories per gram so it adds up to the calorie content of everything very fast but you know for your information carbohydrates have four calories um, uh, protein has four calories fat has nine so it's two and a half times more calorically dense than everything else but you need some fats you need some fats in your body there's a reason God created fats but there's what type of fats that you need well every time you hear the term essential essential means that your body cannot uh, you know cannot produce it by itself so it needs to get it from the outside source hence essential fats you have to get it from the outside sources from your diet or your body over time will become deficient now granted man I gotta be honest with you I've never seen anybody in America had a fat deficiency but it is possible and for you I want you to replace your saturated fats like butter and cream and things like that with monosaturated fat and polysaturated fats especially you know things that come from omega-3 omega-6 fatty acids such as fish and flaxseed oil and and things like that now uh, if you don't like fish and you don't like you know uh, uh, seafood products that have omega-3 omega-6 then I suggest taking flaxseed oil or taking what I love my the best is called Udo's choice oil U-D-O-S choice oil which you find in health food stores that has all the omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids what omega, what these fatty acids do is decrease cholesterol you know uh, improve improve uh, uh, glycemic index and it's that overall is good for your hormonal production um, uh, next uh, I would also supplement with whey protein as I, as I suggested whey protein is the highest biological value protein known to man has all the essential amino acids that you require to repair and rebuild also I would supplement with some glutamine glutamine is a supplement that has the most abundant is, is the most abundant amino acid in, in your muscles will help you recover rec uh, recover and recuperate from your workouts and glutamine is so good that actually in Europe they use it in hospitals to give it to burn patients so they can recover fast